I may like expose you to some of the things and then delve into a couple other things because I'm running out. See, I always think I don't have enough and then I end up having way too much. Better to have too much. I agree. Okay. I'm so geeky about this stuff. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. We're finishing up. Also, um, 
This one was kind of interesting because it's going to show us all kinds of different levels of learning. So in order to be able to do those, they're going to have to go away from just knowledge. They're going to have to go away from just that lower order thinking. By telling them that they have to do that and setting it up so, you're forcing them to go to that higher level of knowledge. Really, really like this one. Also, um, this is obviously a picture from something that I got. This is an assessment tic-tac-toe. So, it's going ahead, it says, during the school year, each student must score tic-tac-toe by choosing a row, column, or diagonal assessment chain to be used as a summative assessment for three different units. Students are responsible for creating a grading rubric for each assessment they select as part of their assessment. So this takes it even wider, and the students are creating a rubric to go with it. But throughout the semester, or throughout the assignment, or throughout the whatever, they can choose which ones they want to do. So, this six weeks, I'm going to do a podcast. This six weeks, I'm going to do a hypertext essay. This six weeks, I'm going to do a 2D medium painting or drawing. And by that, they've chosen how they're going to do it. I love this idea. You could do this easily with your singing and your, your present or whatever. So, very easy way to help students get choice with those tic-tac-toe menus. What do we have? You see where it has on there? what level it is, knowledge, application, synthesis, analysis. So that's forcing them. You don't want knowledges in a row. Okay. We're going to skip this right now because we are running out of time. But I want you to be thinking about a tic-tac-toe board that you could use at some aspect. Okay. Let's do this one first in case we run out of time. All right, 10 most important words. I'm going to hand out an article to you that's very short. Each of you will need 10 post-it notes. Each of you will need 10 post-it notes. You're writing on the normal side, the natural side. I'm not sure it's actually okay.
starting next year. What is it called? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 